Welcome back everybody, Matt and the Bat here. Hope you're having a good weekend. This weekend I saw the new Idris Elba movie, Mist. Uh, this is your typical man versus animal in the wild. I, I don't want to say typical, I want to say like, these movies have a certain formula that we are accustomed now. Movies like The Shallows with Blake Lively fighting a shark. Or uh, in 2019 we got Crawl with uh, Kaya Sotolario fighting an alligator. Uh, you know, I'm really, these movies are like a guilty pleasure for me. Um, Movies like The Grey with Liam Neeson uh, fighting wolves. I like the, the, nothing about these movies. I mean, a lot of well, there are. I mean, there are certain levels with some. <coughs> you know, the top tier are like Jaws and The Grey, and then you go down and you got like like and then you got like The Shallows, Crawl, and I would even say this new one. Uh, Beast, Beast, with Iger's elbow fighting a lion. There was one, that one in the 90s when, uh, Alec Mo, uh, not, uh, who was it, Michael Douglas? And, uh, I want to say Val Kilmore, uh, fighting a lion in Africa. Uh, Ghost in the Darkness, I think it was called. You know, then you got, like, movies like, uh... Then if you want to go even lower on the tier, you got, like, in the 90s, we had Anaconda and Lake Placid. We got to add you, like, Lake Placid a lot more than Anaconda. Lake Placid is one of those bad but good movies. Mill Pullman and his great. I'm forgetting the guy who's the crocodile guy. Uh, you got Brendan Gleeson in there. You got the late Betty White. She was the best part of that movie. Come on now. How do you not remember Lake Placid? What do you mean you send your husband to the alligator? <laughs> if I had a dick, I'd tell you wouldn't suck it. I mean, <laughs> coming from an old lady like that, Saying that line was just hilarious. No. But if I had a dick, I'd tell you where to suck it. Wow. I remember hearing that from the first time I'm going, did, did she really say that? Um, or the fight between the alligator and the grizzly bear. Come on. Then you also have that Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins one, The Edge. I mean, I like these guys in the movie. I mean, you wonder, you're always wondering, like, will you ever be safe in that scenario? I mean, every time you go into the ocean, you might run into a shark. What are you going to do? If you go to Wyoming, and you go walking around, you're gonna, you might run into a grizzly bear. What are you going to do? Uh... I would see certain places I would never go to Africa. Why would you go to Africa? Unless you want to be eaten in my lions. No. Um, but anyway, let's get into the movie. So I, I love what I like about these movies also, like especially the recent ones, is in the first like ten or fifteen minutes, you get the backstory, you get the character development a little bit. You set the characters up. You can get that out of the way, so that way the next half of the movie, or more than half of the movie, is all about man versus animal. Who's going to win at the end? And this one is no different. The first 15, 20 minutes of this movie is character development, setting it everything, set everything up, getting the backstories, Andrew's Elba taking his two daughters to Africa, um, their mother used to live there. Or their their mother used to live there. 
He's died from cancer. I just know more and her are divorced. Um, so he's trying to reconnect with his daughters. And by doing that, he's taking them to Africa. Why? Um, and you know what? It works. Uh, uh, Shanto Copley plays the kind of animal, you know, wildlife preserver, keeping the animals safe, trying to kill poachers, who are trying to kill animals. And who doesn't like Shanto Copley? I love this guy. We haven't seen him in a long time. You know, in the early 2010s, you had like District 9, the A team, old boy. I mean, he was popping up everywhere. Especially the A team. He wanted to see a funny guy. Yeah. Um, I was seeing Shanto Copley in this movie. was great. And then we get into, once again, the lion versus man. And what works really well in this movie is, it's a 90, 90 minute movie. It, and that's, that's like Crawl. Crawl was only like 85 minutes. The show was like an hour 40. These movies are short movies. And that's what they need to be. They need to be tight. Give some character development. And then get into it. You know. Yes, Jaws is like two hours, but Jaws has a little bit more richer of a story, character, you know. Uh, so, I just thought was great in this. You know, I do like the development of him and his two daughters. Uh, Shanto Comley is very good in this movie. Uh, surprisingly, for a low, low budget movie like this is, I'm telling you, the CGI lions in this movie look really like I would actually t tell you right now there are moments in this movie that I thought the lion or really one lion we see other lions at one point but anyway the lion in the movie the lion that's out for revenge really good CGI and the smartest way they do it is there's not too many close-ups and a lot more wide shots and, you know, shadows and this and that that, you know, can, you know, hide the problems for a low-budget film. And, by the way, I was very impressed with the CGI. Very impressed. By the way, it, went, it might rival the Lion King thing they did back in 2019. And this is a lot less money they made to make this than The Lion King. This movie has suspense. It has some intense scenes. One dealing with um, Idris Elba under a car. Very intense. Uh, right then, great pace. Only a little bit over 90 minutes. And I mean, gets, gets you into the development, the characters, and gets right into the movie. Uh... It has some bloody and gory themes, of course. It is rated R, which is a good thing. I wouldn't want to see a PG-13 lion trying to kill people and me. Oh, no blood. No bones. No guts. No nothing. Wow. I might as well just watch the Lion King animated version. Why not? Uh, what else? Uh, the cinematography is good. I think it's, they have a lot of long takes in this movie. <coughs> which would actually be very surprising for a movie like this. They have a lot of long tracking shots. Uh, maybe that also helps keep the cost down. Uh, the director, I like the director. He's done like movies like uh, Two Guns. That had uh, Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington. He did uh, Adrift. A couple of years ago with uh, Shailene Winley and uh, Sam Flaflin. Yeah, I had the name up here. I literally had the name and then I forgot it and then I found it again. Uh, but he did that movie too, with, uh, which was also pretty good. So he hasn't done that much, but some of his movies I have enjoyed. 
And I like that I like I enjoyed this movie. It has the action, it has the intense moments, it has the character development. The acting really good by Iger Selma, Sergio Copley, and the daughters. So those are my positives. Now to my negatives. I do not blame the actress in this movie. I blame the writing in this movie. The writing. Oh boy. For this character. I understand she's a teenager. And teenagers think I know everything. I can do everything. I'm smarter than you, Mom. I'm smarter than you, Dad. I'm only a teenager. But I know everything. I can't even drive yet. But I know everything. I haven't even graduated high school. But I know everything. This girl. No, one again. No offense to the actress. But this character. There is a point in this movie that everyone watching this movie will say, Lion! Kill her! Kill her! Please! For the love of God, kill her! She does some of the most stupidest shit on the planet Earth. Father, stay in the car. Father leaves. What does the, what does the teenage daughter do? I'm getting out of the car and walking away where this giant lion is anywhere, somewhere around here. This fucking lion who wants to rip my body apart is somewhere out here. But I'm going to come go out of the car that's safe and go walking. Then there's other moments. And I'm like, this must be the dumbest character I've ever seen in one of these movies. And we had movies like Anaconda, Deep Blue Sea. That's another good one. Um, but I'm like, oh my god, kill her. Lion, kill her. Now, where is Star when you need him? Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Come on! Dumb. Very dumb. In, re in the real world, that girl would have been eaten like that. Like that. But since in the script they have to keep her alive, they give you, no children will die in this movie. Um. So that was my main negative with this movie. The other one is near the end of the movie, like in the last 10 minutes or so, 15, it gets a little bit over the top. See, moments were both animal and human. You go, they shouldn't have survived that. No way. There is no way that would have, there is no way that lion would be alive right now. No way. No way. Like, I know you want to have a final, you know, battle between man and an animal, but about 10 minutes ago, that animal would have been dead. Okay? And then near the end, you know, that human should be dead. There is no way that human survived all that. And live to tell the tale. Um, yeah. But those are my main ones. I think you had a character that is the dumbest character I've ever seen in one of these movies. And then you got some moments near the end of the movie that go a little too far. Right? Like, no, that one, no, 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 no. And then J.K. Simmons would say, not my tempo. No, not my tempo. No, that character should be dead. That animal should be dead. I don't care if it's fucking Mufasa. 
Mufasa died. Okay? Even Mufasa died. Okay? So. And Mufasa just, you know, fell off a cliff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. Uh. So, yeah. But even though, it, I say, other than those minor things, this is an enjoyable movie. If you like these types of man versus animal movies, it's not, it's not joking, it's not, you know, this is a serious movie. And I like that. So I'll give it a 4 out of 5. It's a fun little summer, you know, original movie. That for 90 minutes, turn your brain off, cheer for Iger Selma and his family, and see lions scare, scare the shit out of you in a couple of moments? Why not? So, 4 out of 5 for Matt the Matt here. Let me know, do you like these types of movies? Man vs. Animal? Um, I think they're fun, you know? You know what I mean? It makes you wonder, well, if I was in that situation, what would I do?